Details now on a case dating all the way back to 1997. Two people are going to prison in connection to a child abuse case in Brunswick County. David Tripp Jr. and Robin Knopfsinger have pled guilty to second degree murder for the death of David Stewart. David died at the age of 22 from abuse he suffered as a 15 month old at the hands of Knopfsinger, his birth mother, and Tripp, who was her boyfriend at the time. A judge today sent his trip to up to 25 years in prison and Knopfsinger to almost 14 years. WECT's Ashley Balsavius went to court to hear the sentencings handed down. Ashley, you said earlier it's a pretty emotional day in that courtroom. John, I watched as David's adoptive dad, his aunt, and his baseball coach took the witness stand to give victim statements. They spoke about how David was abused, his ability to walk, talk, and live a long life stripped away from him because of the severe abuse he suffered as a toddler. David Stewart was only 15 months old when he was abused by his birth mother and her boyfriend. That abuse leaving him in the hospital with first degree burns, bruises, and a fracture on his head. We tried to give him the best life. He held on for us. He did that for us. David's adoptive parents say while he was robbed of a normal childhood and left in a wheelchair, they're glad that justice is finally being served. I can breathe finally and I think I'm gonna um, exhale today and my most important thing is I feel like other people are gonna know they're gonna be held accountable and David's case is gonna be backing up other people. David died in 2018 from complications from his abuse at just 22 years old. Friday, his biological mother, Robin Knopfsinger, and boyfriend at the time, David Rayford Tripp Jr., both sentenced for second degree murder. The prosecutor explaining the details of his abuse in court today. Still upset but relieved. Um, it's been a hard day. And while they say it may have taken over two decades to get to this point, David's family say they can now just focus on the happy moments and his unforgettable smile. We want to remember him happy. David's family say he was such a gentle spirit, happy for the life he was given, even though it was tragically cut short. John, the parents are relieved that all this is over after finally receiving some closure. A long time for them to wait. All right, Ashley Balsavius reporting live tonight. Ashley, thanks. A judge